Hello, YouTube. Um, here is a question of tangency, and it's 2003 Y question, um, question 2B. The sketch in the figure below shows an exhaust pipe, just get. Draw to full size, a given view, show all construction lines. This is very, very important showing all construction lines. So we're going to do justice to this. That's a pretty much simple question, given that we have similar holes around and just three points to consider one, two, three, and they are 72 apart. So it's not a complicated drawing. So we're going to repeat what I have created here on the other side of our drawing board right now. So, um, just pretty much simple and easy to do. So I'm not going to go through the stress of creating all of that. I would only leave us with this two part and make sure that this part, these three points are 72 apart, just like uh, we're given in the question, right? So it's here and then run the reads through. Great. Yeah. Okay. There we go. So now we have our drawing layout properly. And the next thing to do is to actually look at the drawing properly and look at the red, red eye given for each point that have been asserted and, uh, and highlighted. So we have 21 here. The out this outer circle 21 is the CDR showing where we our point of concern is. This radius is going to be uh, 33. Yeah, so we'll find out a point outside it to construct an external tangent to both of the circle and this big circle, and we'll find out how to do that shortly. Uh, you shouldn't be explaining too much, but that one. Single part should explain what will happen in the, in the other part of our drawing. So let's get back to this quickly. The drawing in the middle, now let's start from the side. One has a radius of 21, we'll have that quickly. Another has a diameter of 25, so the radius is going to be 20. Uh, sorry, 12.5, yeah, right here. The same circle I have here is what I'm going to create here. Extend your compass, 12.5, create a circle. With that as a center, and 21 as radius, create another circle, same circle. With this point of center and diameter 88, okay, that means the radius is going to be 44. So I have that. And there's a bigger circle from the question. Let's go back to the question. Yeah, 116, I have 88. This sign here shows us a diameter. So we're looking at diameter 116. 116 divided by 2 will give me 58. So with my radius, and my compass extended to 58, that's 5.8 centimeters. You will have this three points outlined the way it is now. Um, the challenge is there's a tangent. That means if I'm able to complete the circle round, there's another circle tangenting this circle, this one here, and this. 21. So we're going to take care of that. I'm going to start from here. Let me start from the left side so that I can compare what we're doing on this other side. So for me to locate the center of that circle on the other side, I have to add 21 and the given radius, which is 33. So I have 21 plus 33. 21 plus 33 would give me 54. So I have 54. That's my red eye. And I'll cut my arc this way. I have this big circle as my center. The radius of this big circle, remember, tangenting the outer circle is 58. 
58 plus 33 will give me 91. So I'll have 91 caught in this other arc. That it is the point where I will place my compass and extend my compass to the given radius 33 and draw an arc and make sure it exactly tangents these two circle. Watch this. Very nice and easy. You see that? It's already tangent in it. So if I'm drawing this way, I'm gonna have this tangent in it. In a similar way, I have to reproduce the same thing here. I have 54. And I have with this a center 91. You already know how got 91. And cut in this previous arc. I'll get this with this. And with this point of center, careful. Yeah, this point of center and radius 33. I'll draw another circle tangent both circles externally. So I'll only need to do some cleaning up to do um, some cleaning up here. I have this point, I have this point. Let's take this out, let's take this out. Uh, coming up gradually, highlight this point and trim and trim this point out. So if you have your eraser, you can do the same thing I'm doing. So here we here we go. I've had this point created already nice and smooth. So I'm going to repeat the same exercise on this other side of the circle. And that is all you have to do with this drawing and you're done. But we'll have to highlight the main drawing. How to highlight that. Okay, like we did on the other side, we have achieved what we needed to achieve and the same action have to take it close so we trim all the parts that we need we need to trim so we go home with this go home with this and we have our parts complete here looking more like it right what i have on the left side is exactly what i have on my right side but of course the instruction says says uh, Draw to full size the given view showing all construction lines. So, if your examiner doesn't find all of these construction lines, you're going to score zero. So, you have to leave them the way they are. So, that's what we have. And um, I'm just going to highlight all the drawing now that I have cleaned up everything. Yep. Right here, permit me to use another outline color. Right here, yep, not bad. So, what's next is to have your dimensions on your arrows showing exactly what you've done. Okay, here we go. Everything is done dusted, and this is how you draw. Uh, uh, a given problem such as this using the principles tangency. We are locking this problem, we only have external tangents drawn, so it's much easier. In some complex drawing, you have both internal and external combined together. So practice, keep practicing. I wish you good luck. Yeah.